Okay, let's see how we can apply this. Let's take the simple example. Find fourth proportional of 5, 3 and 2. So this is like A, this is like B, this is like C. So we need to find D, which is understood that A upon B is equal to C upon D. So we have 5 upon 3 is equal to 2 upon X or you can take it as D and hence D will turn out to be 3 into 2 upon 5 which is 6 by 5 which is 1.2 that means D is going to be 1.2 which means that the fourth proportional 2 5 3 and 2 is 1.2 Simple example just to understand how we can use the concept just as a warm up. Let's say we have this option. You have the case of fourth proportional to 4, 6, and 8. So let's do this is the first proportional, this is the second proportional, this is the third proportional. We need to find the fourth proportional. So we know the means that is, the middle terms are 6 and 8. One of the extremes is known, we need to find the last extreme. So again, hence this is the first upon second, that is 4 by 6 is equal to 8 upon x, that is the fourth proportion. So x is going to be 6 into 8 upon 4, that is 48 by 4 to 12. So the fourth proportional is going to be 12, or 4 by 6, 4, 6, 8, and the fourth proportion will be 12, and you see that the ratio is going to be 2 by 3, when 8 by 12 is 2 by 3, 4 by 6 is also 2 by 3. So, from here, hence we have the answer as 12, which we got it. From here, we move on to the next question. Okay, here is the same kind of question, but worded in a different way. The number which has the same ratio to 26, that 6 has to 36. That means there is some number x, its ratio to 26 is the same as the ratio of 6 to 36. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not 36, it's 6 by 13. The ratio of 6 by 13 is the same as the ratio of the unknown number by 26. So x will turn out to be 6 into 26 upon 13. And you get 13 into 2 and you're getting it as 12. So hence, Sorry, I'm sorry, this is 12. So, hence the number x is 12. So, hence 12, the ratio of 12 to 26 is the same as ratio of 6 to 13. Let's move on further. Okay, and the answer is none of this, right? Now, if four numbers have 1 by 3, 1 by 5 and 1 by x are proportional. Now when they say r in proportional or proportional, it means the same. So this is a, this is b, this is c, this is d, a by b, so it's half upon 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 5 upon 1 by x. Now this if you invert it, half into 3 by 1 is equal to 1 by 5 into x. So we have 3 upon 2 is equal to x by 5. Hence x is 5 into 3, 15 upon 2. That is 7.5. And let's check whether we have the options. Yes, we have 15 by 2. So the answer is 15 by 2. Let's check whether it's tallying. Yes, the answer is 15 by 2.